Hey, what's up everyone? Steven Asalanga here, and today I've got a new special request haircut tutorial for you guys. And I get a lot of requests for soccer players and a lot of men. Uh, so this one is Gareth Bale. Uh, now this is my inspired haircut. You know, I know right now he might have it a little bit longer in the sides, but I happen to have a mannequin that I, I cut uh, with a side that's tapered down relatively short. But the top is a perfect length for me to show you guys how to get that haircut and hairstyle. So uh, we're gonna have a little interesting twist on it. I'm gonna try to put that line part in the hair and I'm ready to go, so let's get started. All right, so what I've done is I went ahead and I buzzed uh, both sides of this. Now, this is probably much shorter than what he has it. Um, so, you know, I'd say you could probably get away with using a three on the sides here, maybe three and a half. Uh, this is like a one, I believe, here on the side. So really, really short, um, you know, it's my interesting twist on things. A lot of guys are going much shorter into here. So I'm putting my own little twist. And again, this is inspired kind of by Gareth's, Gareth's hair. So let's talk about the top now. Now the top, as you can see, it's pretty long in the front here. And I always get a lot of questions. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. A lot of questions about the top. How long should it be? Uh, this particular hairstyle, you know, I'd say you probably want to go to about right here. Because he, he does have this all coming over this way. So, uh, what you want to do is, this is completely disconnected through here, alright? The sides are completely disconnected uh, in through, into this haircut. So, let's keep that in mind. So, let's take the whole top here, alright? And let's cut it, I'd say about maybe an inch and a half to two inches on top here, alright? And we're going to take horizontal sections and we're going to cut everything pretty much to that same point. Now, we're going to start to slightly over direct back the more we get towards the front just because we want to leave a little bit of length in the front. So when you when you over direct, you're bringing it to that one point, everything will be longer and then fall down to that point that you that you're over directing from. So as you can see here, we are cutting our way towards the front of the head, the front hairline. But I'm bringing everything to this one point because I do, again, want to leave some length. So, continuing to work towards the front. As you can see, previously it was a bit longer. So, I'm just simply bringing everything back here to this guide. Okay? There you can see the corner. And probably this last piece right here is going to be my last section. Uh, and that is right in the very, very front. And again, we're bringing it back and over-directing it. Now, let's take this into the corner here. There you can see, there's that longer hair. And we're cutting that off. Now, we're just going to do this again on both si on this side of the head, where we're going to pretty much kind of cut the corner out. Uh, again, you're not trying to blend this in. All right, now, I, you know, sometimes I've gotten comments, oh, it's easy to do a haircut like this. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to do a haircut like this, of course, but I'm not doing that haircut, you know, and a lot of these guys are going with the separation, uh, the, the separated type look. So that's that's kind of what uh, this, is, this is all about. So it looks to me like this is looking pretty good, and this is, this is what it looks like in the front. Now, if you feel this is too long, which it might be, his is probably up to around here or so. So what you can simply do is, if you feel it's too long, you can bring this down towards the front and chip into it this way. Now remember, when you bring this down, it's gonna cut, everything is gonna be cut shorter. All right, so when you bring it back, you know, everything will be shorter and you have to kind of go back in and kind of reshorten this up here so the front isn't shorter than everything else because that will happen. Remember, you're now you're over-directing this way. So that means this is gonna be the shortest piece. So then you're gonna over-direct like this and as you can see there, it looks it definitely looks a lot better. But now what we have to do is go back in just to make sure that we can take down this a little bit more because we don't want to have the front the shortest point. We want to have the front the longest point. So I'm just going to continue to just follow this until I feel it's a good desired length. Uh, and then I'm going to just clean up the sides here uh, with a trimmer. All right, I just want to show you where I'm at right now. This is, this is pretty much uh, the finished look as far as on the top. And, I've, and this is what it should look like when you comb it down. All right, uh, this is probably a good length for this type of look. Um, and I did kind of take this in a little bit shorter and through here and through the sides. But uh, you did bring I did bring this over, sweep it over a little bit, and there you kind of have it. There's that that look 
um, that he has here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to shave in a line in through here. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so now I'm ready to, to shave in a line in through here. Um, now, I'm using some trimmers that I have here. Uh, my, my professional ones aren't with me right now, but any trimmer will do. Anything that has something like this, a little blade like this, which you can go in and uh, manually... Uh, it's like a, th a thinner type uh, blade here, the width of it's thinner. So these always work for any type of design work. So what I'm going to do, and what you want to do when you're doing this, is you want to basically, before I even turn this on and start it, you want to kind of visualize the line of where you're going to do it. And then what you simply do is you just press into the hair, right on the scalp. Go right on the scalp and press right into it, and it's going to create that nice sharp line. All right? So let's go ahead and do it. There, I've actually never done this on a mannequin head before, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Uh, but as you can see, we got a nice little uh, line in there. So on a real person, like a human head, all right, see that? This will show up pretty, pretty good, but it's a nice straight line in through there, and it gives a little bit of, an, of a nice little edge, all right? A lot of guys are doing this. It's a really big, big trend. Uh, and don't be afraid but to do it, but that's how you go ahead and do it. You just really line it up and that's it. Just go for it. Right on the scalp and bam, it's done. So I'm going to dry this uh, and then we'll show you the finished style. All right, so I'm going to use a hair cream and I get lots of questions all the time. You know, why a cream? Why this? Why that? Well, hair cream, it's like imagine a leave-in conditioner. That's what this does, but with a very soft kind of hold. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just work this in like that, okay? Rake this up. Get You really wanna get the product in your hands first, all right? Because hair cream like this, as you can see, doesn't leave a lot, a lot of hold, all right? But it's just enough to give it kind of like that, almost like that wet look, all right? But it's still not, you know, greasy or it's not like a heavy, heavy gel. So it's not going to dry really heavy, all right? It's going to dry relatively, you know, like soft like this, all right? Almost like there's something in their hair, but it's not, you know, you can't really tell what it is. And that's what I like about this. So as you can see, there's the line that I carved in there, uh, and, and there's a disconnection, all right? Uh, but this is this is pretty much it. This is what a lot of, a lot of guys are doing right now. And, uh, you know, that's all I can say. I think it's a great hairstyle, and try it if you, if you feel a little more courageous, uh, and have some fun with it.